Steve Carlson here at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Going to do a walkthrough here on focusing on our 280 Outrage Boston Whaler, which is in the center. Off to the left here, I've got a 250 Outrage. The 280 Outrage, which will spend most of the time on this one. And then the 330 Outrage. I'll point out a few things on each of them. But uh, again, going to focus on the 280 Outrage here. So this boat has the V8 300s in the white. Standard power is 250s. Uh, most of the time we have been upgrading to the twin 300s. Great performing boat, 55 plus miles an hour. Uh, great performance, low end, out of the hole, um, all through the power range there with the 250s and the 300s, uh, both on the same platform, um, but 300s are great. Anyways, looking from the back here, um, you'll see that uh, there's a uh, swim ladder that's protected there by a hatch. You'll notice we've got some rod holders in the back. Um, you can easily add um, something there to uh, put a couple extras. Um, Bird's all or Rupp make something real nice back there to get some more rods back there. We've got a bait well on the port corner. And coming into the boat, actually, I'll show you. We've got the pop-up cleat here. And then we've got a hose pipe going down to cleats here. Go ahead and close this transom door off right now i've got the transom seat out so you can see that whaler does a nice job of that making it comfortable it's a substantial seat i'm gonna go ahead and close that so once you do that plenty of room back here for fishing you'll notice we've got another bait well It's just quite a bit bigger than what it originally looks like. So that's insulated as well. Uh, a lot of people use that for a cooler. The other bait well on the transom. So if you if you are uh, using it for live bait down south and you want to separate your, your baits, that works out well. Uh, two very big fish boxes in the deck. And obviously because of the way the whaler is built with the foam, um, incredibly well insulated there. Those do have um, pump outs there, uh, macerated. And then you do see that for the 2021, starting in the 2021 model year, um, or 22, they have the dive door on the port side of the boat, uh, which has been a real nice addition to the 280 Outrage. Um, nice beefy hardware. And close this. So, very rugged. Go ahead and just close that. Just give you a view here. A couple more rod holders. A couple more up above. Freshwater sink. Got a slide out for the Yeti. Same size fish box on the starboard side. We got the uh, trays in here and also the um, toe kick space. And then some rod holders there or a great spot for a, a gaff uh, storage. Battery switches in the back. Um, rod holders going up the gunnels here. Now, focusing in on the helm, we do have bolster style seats with armrests, tilt helm. This boat has the uh, 12 inch display. Next one we've got coming in has the 16 inch ray. Um, that's the autopilot there, the vessel view active trim and then this is a remote for the stereo a couple of cup holders overhead uh, radio or electronics box up there 
And then a little bit of storage up top here for throwing a coat, a life jacket, throw cushion. Um, from the helm here, you can see that uh, we've got the glass on the sides and then the electric vented window up here. Really nice for getting some airflow. Integrated handholds, which are phenomenal, beefy, rugged. Uh, we talked a little bit about the uh, spray wings. Great setup they've got here into the hard top, into the framing on the side of the console. And then that hooks in here and then down below. Um, the snap line you see on the boat was added for a full mooring cover on both of these boats. Um, you can do that or not. Uh, that was something that these owners decided to do. Here's something that's unique. Um, these flip down, we call them trolling seats. Um, pretty phenomenal. So I'm gonna spin around here. I'm sitting in it now. Picture looking back at lines, trolling, or if you're perch fishing, great spot. And that's common on the all of the outrages we put them on the 25 28 and then the 33 over there so we got that on both sides um at the helm you've got built-in foot rest there and then let me come forward on this boat and this is something that's pretty unique on the whaler the 280 outrage um, we've got this large lounge seat up ahead of the console and most of the boats are going to the big wide seats coming up the sides and it really hinders getting around the boat uh, especially if you are fishing it so this lounge seat i'm gonna look in over to the 33 just to give you a little extra perspective on it but on the 280 is just phenomenal let you get around the boat you've got armrests but what i really like about it is great storage so we've got a bunch of stuff piled in here right now that's actually the uh the side curtains um there's actually a dedicated place down inside the console for those to go but um if i pull some of this stuff out of here kind of have a bunch of stuff in here on purpose just to let you see how much space is in here prop boxes sets of life jackets for perspective that's a five gallon bucket down in there and then you've got some shelves here and these little bungees for rod handles and then sliding forward through that black space rod tips can go in there that does go into the console itself so rod storage on a center console is always a bit of a challenge. It's a nice setup from Whaler. Here's the uh, trolling seat folded up out of the way. Again, when you move around a Whaler, just about everywhere you would naturally reach for a handhold, you've got one. And look it down into the console. Very spacious. It's probably more spacious than anything else in this size class. Vacu flush head. Down in here, you've got an electrical panel. There's the key switches with push button start and stop on the helm. The stereo head unit. That's storage for the dive door. And that black, there's like some bristles there that rod tips can come through there and some extra storage down in there. So very spacious head compartment. Again, walking back here. And then just looking over here now into the 330, you know, that's a significantly bigger boat. The rear facing seat, extra beam, 9.6 beam on the 280 Outrage. Nine foot here on the 250 Outrage. And then we're up over 10, 10.4 on the 330. But again, Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats and I'm here on the 280 Outrage Boston Whaler at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats.